In the darkest corners of the human psyche, there exist beings devoid of empathy, driven by unspeakable desires, their actions an unsettling reflection of their innermost selves. Tonight, we dive into a realm of pure terror as we recount the cold-blooded confessions of six of the most ruthless criminals ever brought to justice. They reveal the horrifying depths some can sink to. Devoid of remorse, their cold, chilling demeanor a stark contrast to the terror they've unleashed. Brace yourselves as we descend into the bone-chilling reality of the underworld. At number six, we have Albert Crow, the Iceman. With a chilling demeanor, Crow sat calmly during his interrogation, as if it were a pleasant chat over coffee. His smirk never left his face. Crow's cold indifference sent shivers down investigators' spines. His chilling smile never wavered as he confessed to his crimes without remorse. The moment Crow entered the interrogation room, an icy silence filled the space. His cold, piercing eyes met the investigators. Crow's crimes were unimaginably brutal, but you wouldn't think it seeing his eerily calm demeanor. His smile, so confident, so assured, was a disturbing contrast to the heinous acts he confessed to without a shred of remorse or regret. What do you think about me? Anything good, bad, or indifferent? Yeah, some of each. <laughs> Number five brings us to a new level of chilling indifference. Victoria Maloney, a ruthless assassin. As the interrogation began, Victoria's chilling laughter filled the room, echoing in the minds of the investigators. How did she react when she was cornered? With every question fired at her, Maloney laughed, her unsettling amusement growing louder with each moment. She revealed her heinous deeds as if they were mere anecdotes from her daily life. Upon the investigator's return, Victoria Maloney stood at the center of the room, her laughter a chilling, haunting melody that echoed off the cold steel walls. Her reputation as a ruthless assassin was well known, but no one was prepared for the level of unsettling delight she took in recounting her assassinations. As if telling a casual dinner party anecdote, she recalled the details with such a lack of empathy that the investigators were left speechless and disturbed. Meet our number four, Andrew Silent Death Matthews, a name that matched his terrifying deeds. Matthews answered each question with an eerie silence, and when he finally spoke, in stark contrast, Andrew Matthews carried an aura of silence. He became known as Silent Death, and it was not hard to see why. As he entered the room, his unnerving quietness drowned out all other sounds. His intimidating silence hung heavy in the room, punctuated only by the brief, chilling responses to the investigator's questions. He revealed the terrifying extent of his crimes in a bone-chillingly calm and collected manner, as if he was recounting a mundane grocery list rather than his dreadful deeds. Number three is where we meet Raymond Razor Clark, a man who earned his nickname for his preference for razor-sharp blades. Stay with us to unravel the chilling interrogation that has left even the most most hardened investigators trembling. The moment Clark entered the interrogation room, a wave of unease washed over everyone present. His eyes, cold and calculating, examined the room, landing on each officer present. As he began to speak, his voice carried a nonchalant tone, chillingly detached from the reality of his heinous actions. He described his crimes in gruesome detail, each word etched in ice, each sentence colder than the last. The name Razor was indeed fitting for a man who took such chilling pleasure in the sharpness of his blades and the coldness of his heart. Not me, just not the person I am. I'm still not really sure what had happened, but I, I just know that this, this wasn't me. At number two, we introduce you to the terror that is Helena Widowmaker Atkins. This criminal mastermind sent shockwaves through the underworld, orchestrating a series of ruthless assassinations that earned her the chilling moniker Widowmaker. Her victims? Powerful men who mysteriously lost their lives, leaving behind grieving widows. How did the Widowmaker handle the pressure of interrogation, you ask? The chilling details are about to be unveiled. The moment Helena Atkins walked into the interrogation room, a palpable sense of unease filled the space. She sat with a chilling grace, her eyes cold, devoid of emotion displaying a sense of calm that belied her vicious reputation. As the interrogators fired questions at her, she responded in a tone so nonchalant, it was as if she were discussing a mundane household chore, not the string of brutal assassinations that left a trail of grieving widows in her wake. She took an unsettling delight in recounting her meticulously planned operations, each chilling detail revealing the depths of her ruthlessness and her complete lack of remorse. The Widowmaker's terrifyingly calm demeanor, even when cornered, sent shivers down the spine of the most seasoned investigators, leaving a chilling imprint on on those who dared to cross paths with her. The countdown ends here, at the door of our number one most ruthless criminal, Samuel the Puppeteer Gilbert. His interrogation left even the most stoic investigators with a chill running down their spine. The Puppeteer was known for his psychological manipulation, but what happens when he's the one cornered in the interrogation room? Samuel the Puppeteer Gilbert, the mastermind behind a chain of horrifyingly orchestrated crimes, 
faced his interrogators with an eerie calm. With every word he spoke, his cold, manipulative nature was clear. He played mind games with the investigators, twisting their questions, making them question their own understanding. Gilbert didn't just confess to his crimes, he recounted them like a puppet master controlling the narrative. I don't go back to the same thing sometimes, uh -huh. pluck me another grape. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I mean, great, so y'all got all the vine here. This deeply psychological and chilling interrogation reminds us of the darkest corners of the human psyche and the terrifying manifestations of its power. As we leave the shadowy depths of these interrogation rooms, we carry with us the chilling echoes of ruthless confessions. Six criminals, each embodying a terrifying aspect of human nature devoid of empathy, and their cold-blooded demeanor that has left even the most seasoned investigators unnerved. Tonight, we stared into the abyss of their souls, a place where remorse does not exist, and every chilling word every horrifying confession, is a stark reminder of the monstrous capacities hidden in the darkest corners of the human psyche. As we retreat into the safety of our lives, remember, darkness lurks in the most unexpected places. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and hold tight to the light.